Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name's Deirdre Brahmi. I'm a sixth generation psychic. Not only do I pull angel tarot cards in reference to your love situation, but I mostly channel messages from your angels and guides. If you're curious about if you're a Virgo or you want to snoop on a Virgo, or you're just perhaps just interested to hear what I have to say and it resonates, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, I feel somebody, first of all, I feel like you're rocking it right now financially. I do get that. You're rocking it. I feel that, were you playing games with somebody and kind of being very strategic because they were kind of playing games with you? Well, I hear, well played out. And when I got the chess here, this means that you were kind of playing a chess game with this person. Now, are they somebody with a lot of money? Because I feel like you feel like you you won the jackpot. I get a lot of money around this person. I know I'm. this is a general reading, but they may even have a private plane or have friends that do. I just see a private plane. And vacations, I just feel like you are feeling like, you know what? This feels like the mother load, I should say. There's a lot of good chemistry between the two of you, Virgo. And I feel like you've been, you just got over a recent breakup and this person, I'm not sure how you met them. I'm hearing maybe through friends or social media because I'm seeing Facebook also, which is kind of like friends, you know. Just be a little careful here because I don't know, I get the thief card. So just be careful with this person. Do you know them very well? And I feel like right now you've been exercising, your body's looking good. I just feel like you've been really taking good care of yourself. You're looking really, really good. Now, this person that came in or is coming in or is with you right now is kissing your butt. I'm telling you, they are going to shower you with gifts because you're looking good. And meanwhile, your ex, by the way, wants you back. Mm-hmm. This is going to get a little tricky here because I feel, does your ex have a lot of money too? But your ex, I don't feel has real money. I just get fake flexing. But the new person I do feel has money. And with your ex, if for those of you that were married, I feel like you had a you were trying to still work on child support and all that. And I just feel like, you know, you're going through chaos. The ones, again, please take what resonates, Virgo, and leave the rest. I do feel that this new person, I keep getting very wealthy person. I feel that um, if you're not sure, you can Google it and do some background check on them. I think you're going to find out that they have a lot of money. And I feel you're going to ignore your ex. You're like, I'm done. I'm not going to screw this up. And look, look. Yep, your ex is going to see you being happy. That's called karma, by the way. And your ex was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Do I have to say any more? They pretended they were this, that, and the other, and it all came tumbling down. And all you've been wanting is just to be in love. You just wanted somebody who loved you and you don't even care about the money. That's what I'm really feeling. And you won the jackpot being with this new person. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I mean, I keep getting the same cards. Like, I feel like you played a chess game with this new person because I feel like a lot of people like them and go after them. And well played. That's what I keep getting. You played like a chess game and it was well played out. So I feel like you did a little, like you were a little aloof with them. And I think they're used to getting whoever they want and you pulled your energy back. And well, guess what? It worked. Good for you. I want to high five you. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but you caught their eye. Let's just say. Going back to your ex, maybe ex-husband, ex-wife, whatever. I feel you're battling in court. Um, they're stalking you like nobody's business. And unfortunately, this ex of yours, Virgo, is going to try to like make you bankrupt taking you to court. Oh, boy. Karma. I love these cards. Look at it. It says they caught a case like a venereal disease. Ha ha. That's what your ex deserves because they probably cheated on you. Did they cheat on their taxes even? Oh, I don't like your ex at all. Just saying. And now that you finally let go of your ex and you decluttered your mind, body, and soul, guess what? You are looking gorgeous, handsome, having a glow up. Everybody's giving you attention and you are now living your dream. That's what, because you deserve it. You are, you were done. I'm going to write this out because it has a swear word. You know, I got to keep it PG for YouTube here. You are finally done effing being nice. That person 
person, I hate to say this, extreme, died. You fired that person. No more. New sheriff in town. And because of that, everything is coming into fruition for you. I am so happy. Because I'm a snoop, let's see. I'm going to grab the twin flame. Actually, let's do the love deck to see about this new person who's wealthy. Oh, my goodness. And not only does he, he or she have a lot of money, but they are going to treat you like a king or queen that you deserve. Okay. You know why this person's coming in your life? Because even though you've been through hell and back, you still felt very blessed and really healed because of gratitude. You really said, I am super grateful for this experience. Yeah, my heart hurts. Yeah, my bank account is less. But you know what? I realized this was, I did this to myself to have higher purpose of learning and lessons and fulfill my karma. And I do feel that that person definitely deceived you, but you still kept up being grateful and really you know, your chin was high and you didn't lower yourself by spreading rumors and getting in the drama. Good for you. You're being rewarded now. And all the difficulties are behind you. And they said, because you forgave and released and you freed yourself of all the deception, this very deceptive ex, they want you to know, because sometimes it's hard when you're in the middle of a very toxic relationship, you start to ding up your self-esteem. You are enough. Your angels and guides are saying you are enough. Since the person you are meant to be with you will love you for the way you are. You don't have to change a thing. They're going to love you for the way you are. And that's what I'm getting. You're going to pinch yourself. It feels, I swear to you, it looks like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Virgo, I'm so proud of you. I keep getting forgiving and loving. I really, I like this person. This new person's amazing. Let's see what else about the new person, Virgo. What else do you need to know? Let your friends help you, which I think they're the ones who set you up, by the way. Be playful. This is your time. You've had to work very hard your whole life on relationships, on making money, just getting, you know, wellness. Um, it's time to now be romantic. I see this person taking you away to all the places you ever want and trust and God has your back. Now this person, I feel you can trust this situation calls for you to have faith is what the card said. And this is, this could be the one I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to screw this up. Yep. This person's your one. I love it. And as a little last card here, Virgo, it says reconciliation, but I don't get it's your ex, definitely not your ex. I feel this new person who's got your attention was somebody from a past life and you guys had unfinished business and now you're gonna finish it out in a good way. I really like this new person for you, Virgo. Let me know in the comments section if any of this story resonates. And I thank you so much for watching my video. And if you enjoy this content, if you don't mind by subscribing and liking the video, help me build this new channel. I thank you so much. If you're interested in a private psychic reading, you'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again. Till next time.